name is Brittany Partridge and I'm an attorney at the Butler Law Firm. Today I'm going to be talking to you about autopsies and when they're required under Georgia law. Now there are 11 reasons why an autopsy must be required under Georgia law and it's laid out in the statute. That statute is OCGA 4516-24. Now the statute has been updated as of July 1st, 2022 where there are two very specific portions including a brand new reason why autopsies must be required go into law. Now first, under the statute, if somebody dies as a result of violence, from a gunshot wound, a fight, a stabbing, we're going to do an autopsy. Second, if somebody dies by suicide or from casualty. Most of us know what a suicide is, but a casualty is an accident, but not the typical type that we think of. It's often ones that are unforeseen, as in a shipwreck, a lightning strike, Fire. We're going to conduct autopsies if somebody's death is related to those rare instances. Number three, if somebody's death is sudden and they are in apparent good health. That's oftentimes when I get asked as an attorney, isn't an autopsy going to be performed? And the answer is yes. If you have a loved one who is very healthy and young and their death is sudden and you don't have an explanation for it, we're going to do an autopsy under Georgia law. Number four, if there's a suspicious or unusual death, you know, just because somebody is elderly or has an illness or sickness, if their death seems suspicious or unusual, Georgia law is going to require that an autopsy be performed. Number five, if the child is under the age of seven and their death is unexplained, meaning that there are no terminal illnesses or other cause such as you know, a car wreck or something of that regard, we're going to conduct an autopsy. Number six is if a person is killed or dies as a result of the death penalty. So whether that person is killed by lethal injection or other ways in that somebody can be killed under the death penalty laws in Georgia, we're going to conduct an autopsy. Number seven is going to be if somebody's an inmate in a state prison, a county jail, or a city jail. If that person dies while they're an inmate, while they're incarcerated, we are going to conduct an autopsy to see what's going on. Number eight, if somebody enters the hospital and they're unconscious, meaning that they are brought in by a family member or a friend or you know, an ambulance after a Good Samaritan calls, and they do not regain consciousness for 24 hours, our laws are going to require that an autopsy be performed. Number nine is of an apparent drug overdose. Now this can be from somebody's surroundings or from somebody's habits. If there's belief that somebody died of a drug overdose, our laws are going to require that an autopsy be done. Now number 10 is where the new law or new piece of law is going to come into effect. So unfortunately Georgia has a high uh, mortality rate for pregnant women. And because of this, we have enacted a law to perform autopsies when a pregnant woman dies or if a woman dies within 365 days of giving birth. Now there is an exception to this new piece of legislation and that is that there will not be an autopsy if the person's cause of death is apparent or it is very clear that it's not related to being pregnant or giving birth. And what do I mean by that? If somebody clearly dies as a result of a car wreck, they're not going to conduct an autopsy just because that person's pregnant. And the other new piece of legislation, new law, is now number 11. We used to have just if the person died unattended by a physician, we would conduct an autopsy. And our legislator has now gone in and clarified that for us. And what that means is if somebody dies when they are not in hospice care, they are not in a room with a physician, or they have not been seen or treated by a physician within 180 days for an illness or sickness that would cause their death, we're gonna conduct an autopsy. And let me break that down just a little bit. So first, the person has to die having not been in a room with a physician. So if they die at home, if they die uh, in their car, that's gonna be that first tier. Second, we're going to look to see if the person has died in hospice. If they died in hospice, we're not going to conduct an autopsy. And third, 
if somebody dies at home, but they've been seen by a doctor within the last 180 days for something that could explain their death, such as a terminal cancer, uh, we're not going to conduct an autopsy. I hope that this has been very informative. If you have any questions, please reach out to us. And hope you enjoyed listening.